Welcome back to whatever this is, I guess. Uh, this is Puscom. First one out of what will probably be quite a bit of. Well, actually, no, actually, what, what, what I hope will be a little bit, because not a big fan, must say, personally. But, anyway, right now what's important is that I just. You know, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I messed up the audio, like real bad, so I had to scrap my voice basically because, you know, my voice kind of just ruins everything in general. And so this will be post con. The next episode shouldn't be, unless something terrible happens. But I'll do everything within my control to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, alright. So. But right now we're inside the little oven. Trying to stop the terrible fire that just happened to happen after that guy came and decided to just put viruses inside our oven and kill everyone, basically. Just straight up murder. It's kind of crazy. Okay. So, I'm recording this about a, the post comment recording about a week later now that I actually recorded the video itself. So I've been sort of busy. Uh, my sister got married, went to her wedding, did stuff there. It's enjoyable. Playing terribly. We'll get better. As time passes. Uh, I was. Oh uh, yeah, I wanted to talk talk about uh, the entire series. My plan is not to play all of these six games back to back. I'd rather, or, or rather, my plan is to go through the entire series and finish it at some point in the future. Not really all in a row. I feel like that would burn me out and then I'd just make it less fun for me to play and less fun to listen to and I just, I don't want that. So, that's not gonna happen. Ooh, you can't hear the squeaking of my chair. It's quite the squeaky chair. Also, hey, don't mind if you hear like a really, really, really like dull other voice apart from mine. The recording kind of the audio, the straight audio of the game somehow has my voice in it as well. It's not supposed to, but it does. So that's always great when things don't work the way they're supposed to. Watch this, watch this epic kill. Man, legendary. And there's no one better. There's just no one better. Like, there's just nothing better than that. I should, might as well just stop playing the game. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I, I can't beat that. I, that that sweet kill, that dope-ass kill you just witnessed just now. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta stop smacking my lips and doing those things, because that's not enjoyable to listen to. Also, I had a little life in the voice. I feel like the past few episodes, apart from being quiet, which is something I'm trying to remedy, they've also been kind of low energy, which is unfortunate, but I, mean, I can only mitigate that as I move forward rather than retroactively, so whatever. And now, there's this, there's a part where I just stay on some text for a good, like, 30 seconds, for some reason. <laughs> I imagine something happened that took my attention away, but it's a long time ago and I have bad memories, so I don't remember. Yeah, school's almost over. I'm not gonna exactly date the video, but that gives you a little bit of a time frame as to what month it is, because it's almost time for uh, summer. Can go and leave New York and go back to my hometown. Not really my hometown, more like the town in which 
majority of my family is currently living. This is the best way to describe it. Because I don't really have much of a hometown because I moved around a lot as a account of me, as my, of my father being in the military. But not the American military, the Nigerian military. Because I am a Nigerian American, basically. So I moved, I moved here in 2005 and I've lived here ever since. And spent basically my childhood in Nigeria. And also there, where I first played a Mega Man Battle Network game. The first one I ever played was the third one. And it was my older brother's. He let me play it every now and again because... Uh, and here we have some audio problems. But it's okay because I cut it out. Like that. Yeah. Expert editing. You couldn't even tell. Wonderful. But hey. And look at this. This dude is just... The repairman was in disguise, and now he's just gonna straight up just murder this family for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. He's just like, oh yeah, doing good work. Just killing innocent families for reasons unknown, unbeknownst to anyone. You can't escape. <laughs> it's weird, I mean, although... The tones in this game do kind of just, they do take a more adult and morbid tone at times, but all in all, I mean, the way I remember this game, the way I think about these games is more of like a childlike, you know, kind of just younger audience, and the prospect of a man just lighting a fire in someone's house, and then, as you'll see in the future, like locking, well actually maybe it showed and it wasn't paying attention, great. But anyway, just locking all the doors so the mother and son just die and burn to death inside the house is just kind of a little bit more intense than I thought this game would, uh, would employ. There's Lan with his water gun, which is more like a water hose with that gigantic just torrent of water that he shot at the oven. Uh oh, it's Mega Man, what's going on? Can't die? You won't, because this is the first of six games, so obviously you know that Mega Man won't die. At least not until the sixth one. No, I'm kidding, no, no. Maybe, maybe he does die, maybe he doesn't die, you know? Who knows what's gonna happen? Not gonna spoil anything. Leave it up to the game to decide how to end the series. But these games are, I mean, they're good. I mean, yeah, that's all I can say is they're, they're, they're good games. They're definitely not uh, in the same vein as the Mega Man games that came before them, but they're good in their own way. And they had Mega Man, uh, as Mega Man Zero, actually. They had Mega Man Zero kind of take up the mantle of like the X series and that other style, although it took it to a more action y, you know. Slash, hack and slash kind of vibe to it, but I think it was nice that they, you know, took the jaw, took the games in a different direction. You know, they actually did something with the Mega Man character, the me whole Mega Man, you know, enterprise, the whole series, instead of just leaving it to rot in the dust, as Capcom does now, because Capcom is just a roving pack of madmen, apparently. I mean, hey, when I have something that I know is really popular and a lot of people like, I just like to withhold it, you know? That way no one can have any fun, ever. And I can just lose all the money that I've made and just kind of go bankrupt. That's part of the reason, I'm sure, why Capcom's making a Street Fighter V as a PlayStation exclusive. Uh, you know. That's that's actually pretty surprising. I'll have to edit that out as well, which is just the best. Well, what can you do?
Not much. Hopefully it's still recording, let's find out. It is. These are gonna be unprofessional. At first. Hopefully they'll, you know, kinda get better as time passes. And here we have this little mechanic of extinguish extinguishing fires. Kinda just been talking without really paying attention to what's going on on screen, which is good, I guess. But once again, some more sound problems occur, and I do what I can. But yeah, I mean, these games are cool. These games are fun. I think the best, at least, I'd say my favorite out of all of them might be. I mean, the first three are similar, and then the last three are also similar, but from the third one to the fourth one, they kind of try to take a new, kind of different direction of the game, which is, I mean, alright. I'm sure some people didn't like it as much as the first three, but they tried something new, which is more than can be said for Capcom now. <laughs> yeah. No, extinguishing, extinguishing flames. <laughs> extinguishing my... English prowess, because I can't speak the second any kind of just tongue twist or anything comes in my way, even though I should be good at those. I'm supposed to practice those all the time. It was a terrible throw. It was a really bad throw. <laughs> That's really bad. Kinda messed that up. Hmm. This is definitely the easiest out of all of them. I wonder how much I'm repeating myself. I hope I'm not repeating myself too much. Hope there's some entertainment to be weaned, clean, weaned, and on one of those clean from these, from this game, or from this let's play. If not, I mean, no one will watch. I'm pretty sure that the uh, the truth. Is in the pudding. Is that how that saying goes? It's become increasingly clear to me as I speak that I actually just am bad at it. I think of myself as a fairly eloquent person on a normal basis, but it seems I might have overestimated my abilities, especially in terms of sayings. I mean, I kind of grew up in a different culture, so the sayings that I know are kind of incongruous with normal American sayings. Well, I mean, I've been in America long enough that I know quite a few, but usually I'm not, 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 not too sure if I have them completely correct. You know? What can you do? It's a terrible fight. Kind of just putts around here. <laughs> oh my gosh! Ah, uh, the shame. I mean, if there's one thing that I'm glad about is that in the future. Like, at the very least, if anything at all is going to get better, not my commentary, not, like, the video quality or the sound quality, my hope is that at least the gameplay will be better. At least I won't be atrocious as I am now. Hopefully. We'll see. I mean, no promises. Make no promises. Yeah. This is where I come at a crossroads, because I only have a few more extinguisher shots left, and I have to decide which direction I need to go, or which direction I want to go. You know? And the main problem is that if you go back to renew the extinguisher, all the fire comes back, which is weird. It doesn't really make sense, but hey, that's just the way this game works, apparently. Yeah, look at this. Gotta go back. I gotta see what I can do. Yeah, get a new one. But, uh, yeah, it's just about time for us to end this off. Gotta end this up a little early to be under the 15 minute mark, so I'll see you later. Peace!